The 2-1 is driven into deep left field. Going back is the left fielder, Yossi Galan. It's off the scoreboard for David McCabe. The big maple goes yard and puts the Green Jackets on top 2-0. Well, Derek, you might be the good luck charm because that's his first home run of the year. What do you think about that play? I think it's I think it was really good. Fly ball the other way to deep left. Gariola will watch this one sail out of here. David McCabe with a monster home run the other way on top of the bowtie deck, Budweiser bow, bowtie deck and left. And Augusta up 2-0. McCabe's second home run of the year. The one, two. Rocketed to right. It's going to get over the head of the right fielder. It lands off the bottom of the warning track. Workinger comes in to score easily. McCabe coasts into second with a stand up RBI. Two, two. McCabe lifts this one in the air. Right field pack tracking Loriano on the warning track on the wall. Look up, and it's out of here. Solo homer for David McCabe. He picks up the solo shot with one down in the third inning. And that is another run for the Augusta Green Jackets. McCabe picks up his third home run on the season, a solo shot. And now it's 4 nothing Augusta in this top of the third inning. Jeremy Celedonio steps in. And Workinger now needs one more game with a base hit to equal the all-time Green Jackets franchise record. First pitch to McCabe, sent to deep left field. It is high, and it is out of here. It's the fourth home run of the year for David McCabe as he goes yard to left center field, and it is now a one-run ball game. And that'll bring up the former UNC Charlotte man, David McCabe. There's another Charlotte man in the building with us tonight here. More on this as the night goes on. It's a really interesting story as McCabe tags this one to left, and you can forget it. That one way out of here. Fifth dinger of the season for the Big Maple as he got all of that breaking ball, and it is 4-1 Green Jackets. The left fielder didn't even try to move, and it's McCabe's fifth of the season. Second homer of the day for the Jackets. Five hits in the first two games of the series. 2-0 pitch, driven to right field. Back is Logan at the wall. It is gone! Homers on back-to-back -back nights for David McCabe. And the Green Jackets add some insurance. It's 4 to 2 Augusta. And at number two, the train hits board because that ball has been so late. Big Maple keeps on growing. Tied to the team lead now with 21 runs batted in, his sixth homer of the season. And this one line towards the alley in left center field. It is deep, it is gone! Wow! David McCabe for the third straight night leaves the yard. And the Big Maple has done it again. Three in three for McCabe, and we are all tied up at two apiece. A laser beam, 107 miles an hour off the bat, just got over the SRP sign in left center field. And we are all tied for six of their 11 homers against this team. 0-2, oh, driven to right field and deep. Going back is the right fielder. He looks up. There it is. McCabe goes the yard again. The first multi-home run game of the season. As the cannonballer killer has struck once more, he doubles the, the Green Jackets lead. It is now 5-2 to two as he rockets his fourth home run in the last three days. The 1-2 right center field Schnell going back he stopped and this ball is gone way gone by David McCabe we talked about the power of his arm and there's the power of his bats a solo home run in the top of the third and it's now a six to nothing lead for the Rome Braves MLB.com has McCabe as his best attribute righty on lefty base is loaded on a one two count pitch from Broski this one is lifted to right center field oh! Outfielders giving chase. That ball is out of here. Grand slam for David McCabe.
Not Welcome just, to Rome. Not just any Grand Slam, the first Grand Slam for the Rome Braves all season. That's that big maple power, baby. Woo! Geraldo Quintero now representing the tying run as McCabe hits one high, hits one deep, and hits one out of here. A no-doubter to make it a one-run game. David McCabe, his third blast as a Rome Brave. That one went a long, long way. Now David McCabe with two down, and he hits one a ton back into deep right center field. That baby is gone. Man. Way out of here to the left of the scoreboard. A two-run shot for McCabe, his fourth of the season, and all of a sudden, it's a one-run game. The number 23 prospect in the Braves organization, he did not miss that one. That landed, what, on top of that building out there above the pitch clock. Yeah, the new utility building where they're storing the, the equipment out in as Jose Cornell with the 2-2, this one out to right field. A high fly ball, and David McCabe goes yard. A two-run blast to right center, and Rome's on top in the fourth inning. Runner goes, throw down, they got him. Run scores, though, on the double steal, or did they get him? I think the ball rolled away. Yeah, you're right. It looked like Brian Laws was ready to ring him up, and Paulino couldn't hold on to the ball, so the double steal. McCabe comes in from third to make it a 4-3 game. Well, you know what? He cut in front. He was going to okay. try to I think he was going to try to come home, but and here's the pitch, and that ball is crushed to right field, and it is going to get out of here. 2-2 two -two pitch. He was able to handle in a part of the plate. Boy, he's got that big swing and kind of opens up a bit. And that time able to get one and he was able to knock it out of here for a home run. His eighth home run of the year is 33rd run batted in. And here's the pitch and that ball is crushed to right field and it is going to get out of here. 2-2 two -two pitch. He was able to handle in a part of the plate. Boy, well, he's got that big swing and kind of opens up a bit. And that time able to get one, and he was able to knock it out of here for a home run. His eighth home run of the year is 33rd run batted in. 